Will this be good or will it be an epic failure? <laughs> All jokes aside, these couples are so professional. I know it won't be a complete disaster. You and I know if performers have been around for a long time and they're super professional that we all demand new material. And this is generally the, the urge that hardcore swing dancers want to see. But for the average uninitiated audience member, everything seems to be exciting. Knowing all of this makes it difficult for pro dancers to ever catch a break to do a casual performance without being overly criticized by people like yours truly. So since I know the game of having to throw a routine together at the last minute without ever having the luxury of your partner living in the same town and without having enough time to work on a satisfying routine when I did meet up with my partners, I will cut them just a little bit of slack. I just wanna see how much material isn't regurgitated from routines that have already been established. Typically, the easiest way to go is a partial shim sham with a truncated California routine sprinkled with a few moments of improvisation. Now, I will tell you, it is very impressive when professionals deviate from this template, but this is generally the way it goes because of time constraints, guys, and I don't fault them for it. So my hope is that they're able to deviate enough to show me something fresh. But before we jump in, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. All right, let's hope to see some genuine inspiration. I 
wasn't wrong. However, there were some real efforts put forth to decorate the templates that I mentioned before, at least during the transitions, making this just a great example of how to creatively embellish the copy paste routine format. I really love how the dancers in the background seem to be disconnected from what's happening in the foreground, but they still are able to just flow with the tone of the soloist. They're adding various angles and, and made the highlights of this routine the very thing most people don't pay attention to. All of the transition moves that they're using are identifiable as things you would do like in, in a Big Apple or the Shim Sham and even like a just typical jam circle. I felt because they use the familiarity of those moves, the dancers in the background weren't really distracting. This is really hard to accomplish, guys. Sometimes dancers end up doing too much to undermine what the viewers should be paying attention to, and it takes professionals who've been doing this for a long time to really understand when and, and when not to move. One of my favorite moments, which happens to be a solo jazz moment, is Remy's Running Man syncopations. They're just so good. I really thought there was real effort to stand out during this sequence, and, and he did. Now, the critical part of me wishes he switched solo sets with Sky, you know, having Sky do what Remy did instead, but that's just me being picky. The main point is I can see them all expressing themselves as individuals being part of a collective. The brief solo jazz sequences seem to have helped the viewer get a taste of the individual dancers' personalities. I don't know, I really liked this one, mainly because of those unique transitions and the solo jazz movement. What did you guys think about this routine? Let me know in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to serve some of you in my class online. Take care.